initiative of His Excellency Ambassador Professor Shaka and uh, His Magnificent uh, Rector of the University of Technology, but with the presence also of representatives of the University of uh, Madison in, uh, in Silesia. Uh, I think that this is one of the first conferences, but I think uh, the high level of, uh, of um, importance to start a real cooperation, uh, not only between the business, which I'm also to represent, being an investor in Rwanda, but also among the uh, researchers, among the students, uh, and, uh, and the exchange that have already started in between Rwanda and Poland. So it will give a chance also to those who are not really familiar with Rwanda as a country that you can really invest, so you can exchange knowledge with, or uh, you can start the uh, uh, educational program, was mostly perceived probably as a touristic country, but not on this conference, but the presence of the ambassador, who is very active and uh, with the uh, very wide approach, uh, having also a certain Polish background since he studied in Poland. And uh, as I remember, he received his PhD uh, in Poland before becoming a visiting professor in the United States. So he's got a very good understanding of the Polish region. So coming back to the conference, great opportunity. Fantastic to see students from Rwanda here, and it's great also to see a lot of interest from Polish students also to participate in potential exchange programs. Since the knowledge transfer doesn't go in one direction only, so both sides should participate and benefit from knowledge exchange. There is a lot of to do and a lot of to learn from Rwandese who are coming here. So that's absolutely beneficial for students, that's for sure. From a business perspective, it's great for business to identify opportunities, not only for Polish business, for European business, to go on down to Rwanda and to participate in the program which has been started by President Kagame and the government of Rwanda and, the, and these ambitions of Rwanda to become uh, not only a hub for minerals, but this is a very good initiative which is going to impact the ESG and reduction in carbon, carbon dioxide footprints. This is what I have already mentioned during one of my conferences in Dubai with representatives of the Rwandan government, that Rwanda actually has already started to reduce carbon dioxide by introducing this program to increase on, uh, uh, the um, to increase the processing of raw materials from Rwanda and neighboring uh, countries. Rwanda is also becoming an important uh, financial hub and this is mainly because of uh, initiative which has been started by the Kigali uh, International Financial Center which is a great initiative which is giving a home for not only European companies who would like to start a business in Africa and they can absolutely I feel very comfortable in Rwanda as a hub for their operations and I would say not only in Central Eastern Africa but in the whole region and the whole continent. So I'm, uh, I'm very happy that, that we have uh, an excellent cooperation in Rwanda and I'm very happy that we have a very uh, clear communication to investors from Poland and from Europe that Rwanda is really a place to go, uh, not only to indicate the presence but really to, to start the operations there and to participate in a global new mega trend, which is ESG and carbon dioxide reduction. Thank you. Sir. Thank you.